Hey folks, I'm um, excited about a new tool that I got that I think is pretty much going to change the way we can build scratch built models on terrain. Um, I got it, I was working on this, is actually a commission. Um, in the past, I've mass produced little pieces like this um, in the wood shop using router um, to cut out the little pieces and then table saw to get them into little shapes here. And the tool that I found and recently purchased does essentially the same thing with paper. Um, so one of the things I did was on the tower here, I'm going to have little walls that I'm putting up. And what I needed was a template to cut this little groove. So I made this and I can use that to cut it out. And then I wanted to put some cardstock on the top which is essentially the same thing that's on the sides. It would fit just like this. I wanted to have little tabs so that it covers the foam so that you can't see it. So anyway, it took about two minutes to cut all these out. And the tool that I used is this guy right here. So this is an electronic die cutter um, called the E-Craft. Um, a lot of scrapbooking women seem to be using these things and I decided I wanted to try and give it a shot for terrain building and scratch built model making. So unfortunately for us guys out there it comes in more feminine colors like pink and purple um, light blue was about the happiest color that I could find for the money that I was willing to spend on it. But the project I've been working on that I'm the most excited about, let me bring up the software here and show you, is this guy is the one that I used to cut out the pieces, but is right here the uh, Thunderhawk. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and print this so you can see how this thing works or actually cut it. So let me show you exactly what we got out of the machine. So here's the paper card stock. And all you got to do is pop the tabs out. And you will get a very nice pattern. So there's the floor. And there is a whole piece of the Thunderhawk. So just like that, you've got a floor and two watt, two holes. But what is very cool about this is, I only have one piece of plastic card when I was experimenting. But here's the same thing you can kind of see I cut and I was planning out the setting when it cut, but you can see the plastic card cuts very nicely. In fact, one of the advantages that you have using plastic card is that you can cut shapes very close to each other and it will if you only score the plastic card you can see just like I did it pops out so that way when it's cutting 
the card shape keeps its shape and then you get the nice pieces so this is 15 mil plastic card and the website says that this thing will cut up to one millimeter thick which is about 40 mil um, so I got some plastic card on order I'm looking forward to starting on the Thunderhawk as soon as I get done with the, the custom built train here get this sent off and I actually ordered four by eight sheets um, of this and 20, 30, um, 40 and even 60 mil just to keep um, building some stuff but I'm looking forward to getting the thicker stuff and testing it out and seeing how it works so anyway subscribe so you see the videos and that way I know this is something you guys want to see um, and I'll keep keep at it and let you know what I come up with